Let us look at the first model. The waterfall model is the most common model of all software development lifecycle models. It is very simple to understand and use. In a waterfall model, each phase must be completed before the next phase can start. At the end of each phase, a review takes place to determine if the project is on the right path and whether or not the project should be continued. Here, phases do not overlap with each other. Waterfall model is a sequential design process in which progress is seen as flowing steadily downwards through conception, initiation, analysis, design, construction, testing, production, stroke implementation, and maintenance phases. Let us go over each phase to understand the waterfall model in more detail. System conceptualization refers to the consideration of all aspects of the business, with the goal of determining how each of these aspects relates to each other and which aspects will be considered in the software development. In this stage, the overall vision and need of the system is identified and high-level objectives are determined. The purpose of the initiation phase is to conduct an initial high-level investigation of the business need and come up with a recommendation for the solution. In this phase, the sponsorship commitments are secured, budgets, timelines are finalized and objectives for each phase developed and signed off. The core team for the project, including the project manager, is also identified here. Analysis refers to the gathering of system requirements with the goals of determining how these requirements will be accommodated in the system. Extensive communication between the customer and the technical team is essential to understand the possibility of implementing the requirements into the software. Designing is about identifying the details of how the system will be developed to perform necessary tasks to meet the user requirements. More specifically, the system design phase focus will be on what information will be processed in the system. How will the software be constructed? And how will the system look like? What standards will be followed? And so on. Construction is also referred as programming or development stage. This involves the creation of the system software. Requirements and system specifications from the design phase are translated into machine-readable computer code in the construction phase. Testing is performed to ensure that the software created and added to the developing software is working correctly and efficiently. Testing generally focuses on two areas, internal efficiency and external effectiveness. The goal of external effectiveness testing is to verify that the software is functioning according to the system design and that it is performing all necessary functions or sub-functions. The goal of internal testing is to make sure that the computer code is efficient, standardized. After successfully completing the testing phase, the software will be made available for real-time use after it has been implemented on the production site. This is where the actual users will be using the system. Maintenance and management is the last phase and is needed to ensure that the system will continue to perform as desired. In summary, the waterfall model is meant to function in a systematic way that takes the production of the software from the basic step going downwards towards detailing, like a waterfall which begins at the top of the cliff and goes downwards but not backwards.